America. Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we are talking about the early life of General Henry Knox. Henry Knox is one of our nation's most underappreciated military leaders and was involved in many critical battles in the American Revolution. He was born on July 25, 1750 to Irish immigrants. His father was a shipbuilder who lost his business and abandoned the family when Henry was only nine years old. To support his mother and little brother, Henry quit school and took a job at a local bookstore. Enjoying his work, in 1771, Knox opened his own shop. Following the battles of Lexington and Concord on April 19, 1775, Henry joined the militia besieging Boston. His knowledge gained from reading countless military books and experience with a colonial artillery unit was quickly put to good use by the militia commanders. When General George Washington took command of the army on July 3rd, he was impressed with Knox's work and the two established a great relationship. Both Washington and Knox knew they needed long-range artillery to drive the British from Boston and the perfect guns for this task were at Fort Ticonderoga, 300 miles away. Despite the distance and the onset of winter, Knox convinced Washington to let him try and haul the guns to Boston. After a 53-day trek across several rivers in the Berkshire Mountains, Knox delivered the cannons to General Washington on January 27, 1776, completing one of the greatest logistical feats of the American Revolution. Next week, we will talk about how General Henry Knox served his country during the American Revolution and in the years beyond. Until next time, may your love of country lead you.